Today I'm going to show you how to diagnose and install a new dehumidistat in a Santa Fe Advance 2. Now, one of the symptoms for a faulty dehumidistat is if you have to turn, in order to turn the, the unit on, if you have to turn the control knob almost all the way to the on position, that's usually a, a sign of a, a faulty dehumidistat. Or if the unit's running and say you have it set at 50%, but yet the humidity level in your crawl space is below that, say 30%, then that would be a, a good indication that the dehumidistat is, is faulty. The tools you're going to need are a T25 torque driver, a needle nose pliers, a flat screwdriver, and a Phillips screwdriver. Before you start the repair, to be safe, you want to make sure the unit is unplugged from the wall outlet. To replace the dehumidistat, uh, you're going to want to take the magnet door, the filter door magnet off one of the sides and so you can slide the air filter out and then just go ahead and set that to the side. And then from here, you're going to need a, a flat screwdriver so you can pry the the black control knob off of the, the post of the, the dehumidistat. So you just put the, the screwdriver between the knob and the cabinet and just twist and pull at the same time and then now you, you'll remove the knob. And then now once the knob's off you'll notice there's two Phillips screws below where the knob was. So you just take your Phillips screwdriver um, I'm going to use a drill to speed things up and remove those two screws. And then from here, you'll have to remove, there's eight screws that hold the front grill on the unit. Um, there's three on each side, three on this side, three on the opposite side, and then two on the front. Um, again, I'm going to use a, my drill with a T25 torque bit, um, so you can use a drill or a, a T25 torque driver. So just remove these eight screws. Once you have the, the eight screws removed, you can pull the grill off the unit and, and lay it on top of the cabinet. Um, now with the grill off, you'll notice the dehumidistat hanging. From here, the next step you'll want to use your needle nose pliers and you'll notice there's two wire terminals so you just pull those off of the terminals. and now you have your dehumidistat loose. Now once you have the defective dehumidistat out, go ahead and, and get the new one and now it's time to install it. So again, you go back to your, your two wire terminals on the dehumidistat and you're going to connect the two wire connectors. Now when you do this, you'll see there's an orange wire with a black wire on one terminal or one connector and the other one has two black wires. Now it's, it doesn't matter what terminal you put each one on, um, they're interchangeable, so just go ahead and, and slide them on. Make sure you push them down all the way so they're not gonna come off and they're not, so they're not loose. So once you have the, the wire connectors on the terminals, you're gonna wanna insert the, the post on the dehumidistat into the big hole of the front grill. Now when you do that, you're going to want to line up the two small holes in the grill with the holes in the dehumidistat so you can insert the, 
the two Phillips screws. Now when you, when you screw these two screws in, you, you don't want to get them too tight. You basically just want to, to snug them down. Okay, now you have the, the dehumidistat fastened to the grill. So the next thing you can do is, is put the black knob, control knob, back onto the post. Now you'll notice both on the post and the knob, one side is flat. So you'll have to line those, those two up and then go ahead and slide it onto the post about a quarter of an inch. You don't want to go push it all the way down to the cabinet because then you won't be able to turn the knob. So just go on about a quarter of an inch. Now the next step after you have the, the dehumidistat mounted to the, the front grill is, is to reinstall the grill. Um, now when you do that, you'll notice these wires that are coming from the dehumidistat and the fan switch. Uh, you'll want to tuck them inside this metal box so they don't get pinched. So you can do that. You can lift the grill up and as you're doing that, feed the wires into that metal box and then position the, the grill back on the cabinet. And then from here, you just put your eight screws back in the cabinet with your, your T25 torque driver. And again, you don't want to tighten these real tight. You just want to snug them down. Uh, so you don't strip the holes out. Once you have the grill back on, now you can get your air filter and slide that back in the unit and then put the, the magnet door over the air filter. Now the next step is to verify that replacing the dehumidistat fixed the problem. Now before you plug it in, you want to make sure that the humidity control is in the off position and the fan switch is in the auto position. So go ahead and, and plug the unit in. Now, when you turn the, the humidity control knob, you're going to want to turn it slow. And once it, it reaches close to what the humidity level is in, the, in your space, the, the dehumidifier should turn on. So, the dehumidifier turned on, so now that tells us that the dehumidistat did solve the problem.